These look like Mickey ears. Fun fact, if you just put your hair up in a ponytail and slap a head bow on, it looks like you have on Mickey ears. Or maybe it's just this cat's tea party head bow. This is why I don't like this head. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hey friend, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and I make a lot of videos about Japanese street fashion, Lolita fashion, Japan travel planning, wedding planning, a bunch of stuff in all of those categories. And today I'm going to talk about some ways to find Lolita wedding dresses online because most of us are not shopping in person. I'm currently planning a wedding and I am not necessarily planning a Lolita themed wedding. However, I did look for some Lolita wedding dresses for some other things. I didn't end up purchasing any of them, but I did do some research because I was curious about Lolita wedding dresses. If you are not currently engaged or you are engaged and you're still early in the wedding planning process and you're not sure if you want to incorporate Lolita into your actual wedding reception or ceremony, I did make a video about some things that you should probably ask yourself if you are planning a wedding and trying to determine whether or not you should incorporate Lolita into that wedding. There are some things in there that if you hadn't thought of it, it might help you out in figuring out whether or not Lolita is a good fit for your wedding. There were also some really good things in the comments from some other people who had either planned their wedding or are in the wedding planning process as far as Lolita goes. So I would definitely recommend checking out the comments as well as the video to help you get a good idea of what might be the best fit for you. All right, so some things to consider as far as figuring out which dress to get or where you should shop for your dresses is, first of all, what? color dress do you want? Traditionally, people wear white for their wedding, and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to wear white for your wedding. You could always go the non-traditional route. I've seen black wedding dresses. I've seen blue wedding dresses. I've even seen pink wedding dresses. Really just depends on which kind of dress that you would like as far as color goes. Another thing to consider is whether or not you would like a solid piece or a print for your wedding dress. You don't necessarily have to wear a solid piece for your wedding. You could wear your dream dress that's like toy fantasy. Another thing to consider as far as where to shop for your dress is going to be your budget. That's always like the big one, right? Like what is your budget? If you have not made a budget yet for your wedding or your wedding dress, figuring out your budget is also going to help determine where you're going to shop for your dress as well. When we're talking about brand, Lolita wedding dresses, the ones that they have made and marketed as Lolita wedding dresses, those tend to be a bit more expensive than some that you would just find that are white Lolita wedding dresses. So do keep that in mind. Next thing to consider as far as figuring out where you're going to shop for for your dress is your theme. Does your wedding have a theme? If Lolita is your overall theme, then this probably doesn't play a factor. But if your theme is, it's a good theme rococo themed maybe you decide that you would like a lolita dress that is that has a print that is very much on theme with the rococo theme for your wedding that's going to also help you determine which brands to shop for which kind of search and filters you're going to want to put into your searches when you're looking for your lolita wedding dress another thing to consider when shopping for your lolita wedding dress is your timeline of when your wedding is depending on when you're getting married some routes are going to be easier than others if you have a longer engagement and you have over a year to search for a particular dress or to save up for a particular dress that gives you a lot more flexibility as far as finding that dress also depends on which brand you decide to go through that is also going to factor into whether or not you're going to be able to get the particular dress that you have in mind based on when those dresses come out to market and when they're going to be released how much time you have until your wedding and what your budget is now before we dive into some of the resources that you can search and use at your disposal to find Lolita wedding dresses. I feel like it's good to talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of wearing Lolita for your wedding. I'm going to preface this and say this is all from my perspective. Everyone's opinions are different. And there have been other Lolitas who have done videos about wearing Lolita for your wedding versus not. So I highly recommend checking out those videos. Some of the advantages that I see for wearing Lolita for your wedding are you don't necessarily have to buy another dress. You could theoretically wear a dress that's already in your wardrobe to your own wedding. So that's not an extra cost that you have to incur. If you already have a very beautiful white dress that you don't get to wear very often, or you just recently acquired your dream dress, or you have a dress that's been in your closet for forever and you haven't had a reason to wear it, and this is something that you feel like and you see yourself getting married in, perfect. You could easily just pull a dress out of your closet 
and wear it for your wedding day. Another advantage to wearing Lolita for your wedding is that it really showcases your personality and that is one of the easiest ways to put your personality into your wedding. Another advantage for wearing Lolita for your wedding dress is that it's probably going to be significantly cheaper than going the traditional dress route if you're buying your dress new. Now, if you are going the traditional wedding dress route where you're going to a bridal salon, you're picking out a dress and you're getting it made to your measurements, those dresses can be very, very expensive. 2,000, 3,000 and up. If you're buying a Lolita wedding dress and you're getting it from one of the more affordable options, which is either through Taobao or secondhand, that's gonna be significantly cheaper than going the traditional new bridal salon route. Another advantage for wearing Lolita for your wedding is that you get multiple uses out of that dress. So most wedding dresses, we only really wear them once. That's a very expensive garment to keep to not really wear ever again and hope that your daughter wears. But you get multiple uses out of it. So this is a dress that after your wedding, you can also wear again for another occasion. Disadvantages for wearing Lolita for your wedding that I've thought of that some people also commented on on a previous video that I did is that it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily make the dress feel special. If you have been wearing Lolita for years, Wearing Lolita on your wedding might make the wedding feel a little less special. It might make your dress feel a little less special. It's not something that is very special for that day. This was one of the reasons why I decided not to wear Lolita is because while it is a big part of my life, I wanted some, I wanted that special wedding dress, but I've worn Lolita before. I wanted to wear a wedding dress. So for some people, it might not feel as special wearing Lolita. So that is a disadvantage that I could see to wearing Lolita for your wedding, especially if you're wearing a dress that you already own. Another disadvantage, and this could be an advantage depending on your taste, is that it is not traditional to wear Lolita for a wedding. And that is probably gonna be perfectly fine for people who don't care about traditions. But for people who do care about traditions and who do have family that care about traditions, you might get some flack for wearing Lolita for your wedding instead of a traditional wedding dress. Now, I'm gonna say this a billion times, like most people already say, your wedding is about you and your partner and you should wear and do whatever you want to and you shouldn't be influenced by other people. But do keep in mind, that might be something you're gonna go up against and to just be prepared for that. Another disadvantage for me, this was also a really big disadvantage, is that I, if you retire from Lolita and you and you are done with Lolita and you don't plan on wearing it ever again, your wedding pictures are gonna be full of you and Lolita. That was one of the reasons why I didn't wanna do it. While I do think Lolita is something that I probably will wear throughout the rest of my life to some degree, maybe a lot less toned down, a lot more muted, a lot less stuff on my head, whatever, I did not want to look back on my wedding pictures 30 years from now and be in Lolita. That's a disadvantage to me. Another disadvantage that I thought about as far as wearing Lolita for your wedding or trying to wear a Lolita wedding dress is that it might actually be harder to find a dress that you like. There are limited dresses in white if you are going the white color route. There are also limited dresses when it comes to sizing. If you are plus size or if you are tall, you might have a harder time finding a dress for you because as we all know, it's hard these days to find a place that makes custom Lolita dresses and a custom Lolita wedding dress is probably also gonna be hard to find as well. Most Lolita dresses are one size. Might be hard for you to find a dress in your size, in your style, especially if you're looking for a very particular dress. So when shopping for Lolita wedding dresses, depending on your budget, we'll talk about three different tiers. We have the low tier, we have the mid tier, and we have the high tier. If you are searching for any of those dresses, the first thing you could do is go over to Lolibrary. Lolibrary is gonna be a good source for helping you narrow down which dresses already exist in the wild and who has made dresses in these colors, this style, or in this brand. So when you're in Lolibrary, Search bar is gonna be your friend. So you can search for wedding. Let's just do a quick search for wedding, if I can spell it right. And this will give us any dress that has wedding in the title of the dress. Just looking at this, this does not look like a lot. Also, some of these are not, I would not consider these wedding dresses, but that's a different topic for a different day. Now, if you wanted to go the strapless route and you wanted to wear Lolita for your wedding, Atelier Piro is gonna be a great place to shop for Lolita dresses that will work for your wedding. 
Now, I do know for a fact Atelier Pierrot makes dresses similar to this style, not necessarily with this lace and these kinds of ruffles, but they do make dresses that are strapless and white that will work perfect for a Lolita wedding dress. This is also pretty dang gorgeous, and I've never seen this before. Good luck trying to find it if you're trying to find it secondhand. If you are searching Lollibury and you don't necessarily see anything that you like, another tip would be to just remove wedding entirely because it is very restricting and limiting. And let's just search for an OP that is white. And let's just narrow it down to baby the stars shine bright. And this will help you narrow down dresses that will work for you if you were going the secondhand route. And this dress looks perfect for a Lolita wedding as well. Originally, this dress was 3,000 yen. So not quite on the cheaper end as far as wedding dresses go. But if you if your budget is pretty big, friend, you, you're going to stunt in this dress. This is a beautiful dress. How much was this dress originally? 40,000 yen. So very affordable for a wedding dress. This is very affordable, Lolita, not so much, but very beautiful. So do look into Lollyberry to help you get an idea for which kinds of dress you could find secondhand. Now, some other things that you could utilize when you are searching for wedding dresses for Lolita is of course, just do a good old, good old Google search, Lolita wedding dress. And I would not go to eBay. I wouldn't go to Milano. Y'all, why did I decide to do this to myself? <laughs> do y'all see? Bruh. <sighs> now, I know Devil Inspired gets a lot of flack, but if you are trying to find Taobao shops that have Lolita wedding dresses, Devil Inspired has a great search feature. So another tip would be to also search Devil Inspired. So here you have some dresses that would definitely work for Lolita. I'm not saying you should necessarily purchase your dress from here, but this is gonna be a good way to find out which Taobao shops offer Lolita wedding dresses. This is also a very beautiful dress. This is a little high for this Taobao shop, but this will definitely work depending on your theme of your wedding. Yo, this is gorgeous, I would just, not for this price, but I would just buy this just as it is. Another resource that you can use to search for Lolita wedding dresses and help you find one that you might want to use is my Lolita dress. I've used my Lolita dress years ago. And as far as I understand, they're still a reputable source. But if you didn't necessarily want to purchase it from here, you can still use this as a starting off point. So of course you're just gonna, y'all it's really not hard. You just use the search bar and you just type in wedding. I don't even know why I'm making this video. Y'all know how to search. But here we also have other Taobao shops that weren't features on Devil Inspired's website. So we have this beautiful dress here and we have, this is pretty, pretty. I've never even heard of this shop. So if you wanted to wear Lolita, but you didn't necessarily want to go the all white route, this would be, this would be stunning. No one's going to mistake the bride not a single person. So then let's take a look at this dress here. And again, another affordable price. One thing to do keep in mind, depending on when you're buying your dress, of course, if you're getting a traditional wedding dress, most places will recommend that you order your dress 12 months before your wedding, because it can take anywhere from five to eight months to make your dress. And you want it at least six months before your wedding to make time for alterations. For Lolita, you probably don't need that much lead up time, but you do want to factor in the uh, production time as well as with anything at all. So this seems real fast, honestly, but that shipping, it might get stuck on a boat for a month. So who knows, but you do have plenty of options for Lolita wedding dresses. These are all very, very beautiful as well. And then you could also just search on Taobao. Now, two of the Taobao places that I know that make very beautiful OPs and very beautiful, big poofy dresses that would be perfect for a wedding are El Press L and Henrietta. So one of the other resources that I like to use to shop for Taobao branded dresses is Claba Online. And that is because Claba Online, Taobao resellers get different access to different dresses. So sometimes you might see that Devil Inspired has dresses that Claba Online doesn't have. Claba Online might have dresses that 
my Lolita dress doesn't have and vice versa. So I do like to bounce between the three to figure out which shops offer which dresses and then go straight to the source, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, because I don't always know on Taobao which shop to search for and I'm not gonna scroll infinitely and do a search on Taobao. So um, I like to bounce between the three different sites, Devil Inspired, Clawba Online, and My Lolita Dress to find different brands that offer different dresses. I do know Clawba has featured dresses from the brand this time and I do already own a dress from there. I know last year they made a Lolita wedding dress that was very beautiful. I don't see it on here anymore. They also feature dresses from Classical Pulpits, which is they also make very beautiful dresses that will work for Lolita wedding dresses. This is a really good example. It's a little bit higher as far as a Lolita dress price is concerned, but as far as a wedding dress, this is also something on the cheaper end. So I don't, I can't speak to the quality of classical puppets, but this is definitely in the mid tier range as far as budget goes for Lolita wedding dresses. Um, but you do have various options there. That would go perfect for Lolita. That's Saks, Kim. It's okay because you could also wear this for your wedding if you wanted to. Look at that. Look at that. So beautiful. Okay, it wasn't white, it was sacks and pink. But perfect for a wedding, is it not? And then El Press also makes this dress that would also work for a Lolita wedding dress, which is on the cheaper end as well. So these are all sources that I like to use um, from time to time when I'm shopping for a little bit more formal. Um, but these are all sources that I would recommend you use to get a good idea for what currently exists on the market for dresses that could work for Alita. I'm regretting not buying any of these. I really should have. <laughs> it's okay. And then here is that brand Henrietta that I mentioned that also makes very beautiful dresses that would also work for a Lolita wedding dress as well. And we're going to take a look now. This is just a, uh, this actually looks, this is only a deposit. So this would be probably on the mid tier as well. Once you factor in shipping, but Rose bridal one piece, very beautiful girl. Can I get married again? I want to get married again. I want this dress. That's so beautiful. This is very like Belle. This is very Belle. We also have Hiana. Did I say that right? Another Taobao shop that makes affordable dresses for Lolita. You have this, which could definitely work for a wedding dress with Lolita, depending on your budget. You have a short version as well as a long version. Let's see what else we got here. You have beautiful blouses as well that you could also wear with your dress, depending on if it's an OP or a JSK. Obviously, if it's an OP, you probably aren't gonna wear a blouse underneath. You also have lots of options for beautiful shoes as well, so long as you don't have clumpy, like me. So I'm actually gonna type in bridal. That probably would have been the best word to use for Lollibrary as well. So bridal gives you a lot of options for dresses well not really a lot of options but it does give you some options for dresses and then if we try my lolita dress if we try my Lolita dress and we type in bridal we get more accessories we also get some brands that were not featured on collabo online honestly if i'm going the taobao route i'm gonna use collabo online to find a bridal dress because they have l press l Henrietta and some other Taobao shops that I have not heard from and they are definitely more affordable with the deposit structure and they are also more affordable when comparing it to some of the other brand options. It's turned into more of a how do I search on this website instead of how to find Lolita dresses on the internet. Now, if we want to go to the second hand route, we also have Lace Market, of course, as an option. So let's just do a quick search on Lace Market to see what is available as far as wedding and bridal Lolita dresses goes. So first we're going to, oh, hey, Cat's Tea Party's up for sale. That where it gets tea party. Party. Okay, so let's just type in wedding and see what becomes available. So far, we just have this one dress from Baby the Starshine Bright, which is in Germany, which nine I will not be trying to purchase. That's what we have as far as the secondhand option goes. Now, if we typed in bridal shoes, we have shoes. 
Y'all, I would if I was searching for a Lolita wedding dress, I'm gonna go the new route. I'm not playing around with lace market. Cross my fingers, hoping something comes up. Now let's see what Baby the Stars Shine Bright has released. I feel like they released something last year, but I don't remember. But if we just do an image search, if you're wondering why I'm using Bing, leave me alone. I don't know why I'm using Bing. I decided to use Edge because it's less intense than Chrome, but. And then let's search for one piece. This could potentially work for a Lolita wedding dress as well. Let's just do more than a hundred thousand yen. You have a couple options. This is the same one that we saw on Loli Prairie. I can't. Y'all, if I wanted to wear Lolita for a wedding, it's Taobao or nothing. It's still available in pink. Anyone wants to be a big poofy cloud? All right, so those, I don't I don't know what that video turned into. It turned into a lot. I totally intended this video to be way more structured, but then I got sidetracked and sidetracked and sidetracked. So those were some advantages and disadvantages of buying a little wedding dress and wearing it for your wedding, as well as some resources and ways to find Lolita wedding dresses if you had not already been searching. And I hope you found this video helpful or informative or entertaining or all of the above. If you had already searched for Lolita wedding dress, if you are thinking of wearing Lolita for your wedding or if you already did, feel free to leave this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoyed this video and it also lets YouTube know that I'm doing an all right job. If you're new to this channel, friend, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a lot of videos about Lolita fashion as well as Japan related stuff and wedding planning. I also do live streams every first and third Friday of the month, except when I'm too busy planning my own wedding because it is a thing. And I also upload videos every single week. And if you haven't had enough of my rambling and you wanna watch any more of my videos, feel free to check out any of the videos that are coming up next.